Welcome to part 4 of the programming series for Crestron Fusion. This is the fourth video in a series of four designed to provide programmers the tools needed to integrate various hardware components into Crestron Fusion. Part 4 will touch on how simple it is to program AV Framework for integration with Crestron Fusion. We will also explore custom properties in Crestron Fusion. First, we will look at the web configuration for AV Framework. We have already logged into the system and will go to the Configuration System page and select the Crestron Fusion tab to enable Crestron Fusion reporting in the DMPS. The room name and IP ID would be entered after pressing the Enable button in the lower right corner. Once Crestron Fusion has been enabled, note that the system is now offline. For those of you that program, this is the step where the code needs to be compiled and loaded prior to utilizing the system. The last step is to activate the system on the Configuration Management page. When the DMPS has been properly programmed for the room, reporting of the information to Crestron Fusion will start as soon as the DMPS is brought into Crestron Fusion. Now we will switch to the Room View Monitoring page of Crestron Fusion to view how the DMPS is discovered within Crestron Fusion. Drop through the folders and select the DMPS. These are all the items that are automatically reported via AV Framework. The next topic is custom properties. These are the settings for devices, for example, scheduling panels that provide configuration settings to devices from the Crestron Fusion server. A custom property is configured only once within the Crestron Fusion server and then deployed to each device independently. Here you can see that we are on the setup page. Using the navigation tabs at the bottom of the left column, we have selected the Object tab. Under the Custom Properties folder, select Rooms. You can see that there are already three custom properties configured on the server. The ID and type are from the tables within the Operations Guide for Crestron Room Scheduling Panels. This is the window that pops up when the Add button is selected. The name is the friendly name that will show up under the custom properties for the device. Now we will apply these settings to our scheduling panel. In the left column, we will return to the Rooms tab and open the folders to expose our room. Double-clicking on the room name opens the configuration for the room. We'll select the Custom Properties tab and enter valid values based on the tables in the Operations Guide. The server will send the update to the panel when the window is saved and closed. One note regarding custom properties. When they are set from the Crestron Fusion server, they take priority over settings configured on the actual device. The server will re-push any changes necessary if they are changed on the local device. This has been part four of the programming series for Crestron Fusion. Thank you.